You know, sometimes important things seem to be happening, and other times our attention wanders. The Berlin Wall collapsed, and we all took a so-called holiday from history and focused on Bill Clinton's collapsing trousers for the best part of a decade. Meanwhile, some goat herds in Afghanistan were cooking up something ambitious, and they managed to get our attention again. Uh, and then we lost interest in that too. And then a town most of us had never heard of in China. But not Shanghai or any of those glittering coastal boutiques. A place called Wuhan managed to shut down the entire Western world except Sweden, and we've never really, truly got back to normal. Eva Vladingerbroek is back with us, and、um, it seems to me that something big is actually happening quite fast here, and that the archit the COVID has provided the architecture for. New organizing principles of our society. Absolutely, I think it has made a lot of of the system sort of be brought to light. So、mm. it, a lot of lies have been exposed about being、mm. that we are a post、uh, historical society.、Mm. That we are like we joked about a、mm. liberal Western democracy where、mm. everyone has human rights and we're all wealthy enough to have property and things function.、Mm. And you know. I feel like in the last two years, a lot of the things that used to be to most people a given,、mm. at least when it came to living in a democracy, having the rule of law, trusting the government, that、mm. that has proven to be not as well true as maybe a lot of people thought it was. And you see that I feel like not just with COVID, but you can see it in basically every single aspect of life nowadays. Yeah, and people think when you talk like this, that, oh, you must be some kind of conspiracy theorist. But in fact, the fellows on the other side, like wealthy and powerful and important people, are saying with perfectly straight faces that we're all going to be eating insects in the future. So if you just take what people are actually saying at face value,、uh, these people have got big plans for us. Big plans, and I mean, it's it's basically every single aspect of your life、mm. that is dictated by the state. And、mm. COVID was obviously a perfect perfect instrument to get into the the civilians, the ordinary、mm. person's private life.、Mm. Having a QR code on your phone that has to grant you access to society,、mm. the government tracking you everywhere you go, them deciding for you what you know type of. Vaccine you、mm. should take to、mm. be able to partake in society,、uh, inflation having well we were beating record after record.、Yeah. People can't afford homes. My generation doesn't own anything, and that's、yeah. also part of the agenda because you'll own nothing and you'll be happy, according to the World Economic yeah, yeah. Forum. So it's almost like once you see it, you can't unsee it. And there are so many elements of life that I think if you well, I, if I speak to my grandfather, for example, that he would have never thought that this is what would happen to. To the West. Well, your grandfather's generation、uh, took it as read that you'd kind of get your first foot on the housing ladder when you were twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four.、Uh, Now people are like living in their parents' basement until early middle age.、Uh, it, it seems to be clear that when we all switch over to electric cars by twenty thirty or whatever it is, that actually there's going to be small numbers of people still having private cars. And everybody else is going to be standing out in the pouring rain, waiting for the number thirty-seven bus.、Right. I mean, they seem to be saying you're going to have a worse diet, you're not going to own property, and you're not going to have private car ownership that gives you mobility. Right, but we will. That's、mm. also what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, yeah. So not for you, but、mm. I'm going to be fine. You know, I'm going to be able to afford those plane tickets still.、Yeah. I'm going to drive my cars, my electric car, because I can afford it. But indeed, for the ordinary man. Your life is going to look ra 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 radically different, and it's going to be if you don't do it, you're not a virtuous person. That's also you know, yeah, what's, yeah. what's all behind it, because then you know if you don't take the vaccine, you kill grandma.、Yeah. If you don't listen to the science, you're a bigot.、Yeah. Don't think for yourself. Just do what we say and buy what we offer. The interesting thing is that about half the population in any Western society. Goes along with it. I mean, they're half in Canada, where those Canadian truckers appeared as heroic to some people. 
half the Canadian population think they're some kind of racist fascists. And, uh, and, and uh, the blackface uh, mammy singer, Justin, was actually quite right to clamp clamp down on them. Right, because the machine works very well. I mean, the mm. mainstream media has been preparing us for years that if you say something that descends from what the government tells you, you can think, mm. or if you descend from the globalist narrative that you are, well, I don't know what I've been called. I've been called uh, an Aryan princess, a shield maiden of the far right, of whiteness. <laughs> you can't imagine the things that they say to you. What's and that, a shield maiden of uh, whiteness? Whiteness, yes. That's, that's your white privilege you're looking at right there, folks. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, of course, the goal there is yeah. not to just crush me. The goal mm. is to show people, don't agree with this woman or don't agree with Mark Stein, because if you do that, then you're going against us and we can't have that. This is the fate that you'll face. Well, nobody's ever called me an Aryan uh, princess. I don't think I quite... I've never it. been called a Somalian woman either. So <laughs> oh, no, I did, I did that too. Um, <laughs> Let, uh, do you think the Dutch, far the Dutch farmers, as people in America who'd barely heard of the Netherlands, people, you know, who didn't know anything about this little country far away, and they're now all behind the Dutch farmers, what's the reaction actually like at home? Well, if you were to believe the Dutch mainstream media, you'd think that there is no support for the mm. farmers because the, ma the media works incredibly hard now to have the Dutch people lose support for the farmers because the, the support for the farmers mm. was originally and still is high. No. It's the majority of the Dutch population because this goes incredibly far. We, Our prime minister, Mark Rutte, has been in power, mm. has now broken a record, longest ruling prime yes. minister in the Netherlands, yes. and he has ruined the country beyond recognition. Yes. But taking away people's private property mm. for a nitrogen crisis, that little game of creating a crisis and taking your rights away, I feel like some people are kind of waking up to that. That's, uh, that's uh, good to know, because we could do with a lot of uh, wake-up calls. Uh, you're going to be back with us tomorrow. We had a choice, you know. We're, we like uh, take those 600 guys who arrived on the beach and train them all up at guest presenters or just stick with Ava. And we're going to stick with uh, Ava.